Apex Legends right now is cooked. And with the only teasers for next season being, well, whatever that is, there isn't really anything to go off about season three. Now with Apex facing so many problems right now and with all the doom and gloom happening, believe it or not, there is still genuinely hope for this game. Now about a year ago, there was so much hype in the community for Titanfall 3 because of all the controversial copium that we were all injecting into our poor bloodstreams. And no, this video isn't going to be about Titanfall 3 because we all know that that's just not going to happen. There was a game that was set in the Titanfall universe which got axed and buried six feet under and you basically just played as Blisk the entire game and the game would have you meet the other legends from Apex and you would get weapons, abilities, and upgrades from the legends as well. But not only that, we also received the news that EA laid off 600 plus employees around that time, about 15%, and now we are currently seeing the consequences of that decision. One of the main reasons for the layoffs was the supposed use of AI. We saw this with the Final Fantasy trailer with the artwork that was showing off the new legend skins and there was a huge discussion about this on Reddit that was all over the place. And after taking a deeper look, you really do gotta ask yourself, how is Valkyrie's facial details so good and then the belt on her chest is just what I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at here. But recently, the CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson, talked about the future of Apex Legends as well as the use of AI and how it's been benefiting the company. In an interview, Wilson stated that 60% of the development process have a high feasibility of having benefits from the use of generative AI. Wilson also added that the AI will help get to greatness much more quickly by making the process 30% more efficient. In layman's terms, what Wilson is trying to say is, AI has effectively replaced 600 plus employees, allowing us to cut down on how much we spend on paying people, which actually means more money for us. But look, it's not the first time that we've seen companies use AI. The finals leans very much so into AI because the announcers in the game are actually AI generated voices. They're not real. Welcome to Quick Cash, the team that tucks away enough money first triumphs. Scotty said it. Let's see who's got the pace to ace this race. We got our first elimination, Scotty. Talk about making a solid first impression on our sponsors. Now there is a pro player who I'm sure we all know, named Verholst, and basically he went on Twitter saying what AI could bring to Apex Legends 2. AI generated maps, legends, and even weapons. Verholst, please don't give EA any ideas, man. Now, once again, it's not the first time that we've seen this. Minecraft and even No Man's Sky use AI procedural generation to create their extremely vast environments. Do you have any idea how long it would take to create the entire universe in No Man's Sky or the infinite lands that you can explore in Minecraft? Even Left 4 Dead used the same method to constantly generate the massive spawns of enemies in real time. The idea to use AI to generate skins and cosmetics based off each player's interests in the online social world is to say the least a massive double-edged sword. The human touch and feel to designs and skins and cosmetics is what makes buying cosmetics in this game so special, or any game for that matter, because it's not saturated and overdone. Sure, most skins can be hit or miss, but knowing EA, only God knows what the store is going to look like if this actually had to happen. The thing is, when people like this in the community talk, EA and Respawn always tend to be seeing this and paying attention, and they also 
have a habit of listening to the pro players and the content creators, which often lead to less than favorable changes in the game. The issue with taking this kind of direction towards Apex Legends 2 is that the game will lose its authenticity. The problem with AI, especially with it being in such early stages and developing at such a high rate, is that no matter the results in terms of creativity, you can't beat the creativity, innovation, and sheer grit and willpower of the human mind. The entire reason that Apex Legends was so good is because we had passionate developers who worked on Titanfall come along and use their experience and skills to actually make Apex Legends. And it was those same developers who implemented changes in earlier seasons that made it so amazing. And right now, I don't see AI capable of completely nailing those extremely demanding tasks and fill that role that these developers, artists, and innovators did. Now even though Titanfall Legends was cancelled as well as the Star Wars Mandalorian game which basically gives us zero hope for any kind of Titanfall or Apex extension, something was confirmed that still has the entire community on its toes. Now about six to seven months ago it was confirmed that Steve Fukuda, who by the way worked very extensively on both Titanfall 1 and 2, was working on something new. Right after this info came out, it was also confirmed by Jeff Grubb. Now, this guy is very well known for always having some very concrete inside information. He was the exact same guy who revealed early information about Titanfall Legends before and after it was canceled. But Jeff Grubb came on again, once again saying that there is a new game being created and it is set in the Titanfall universe. Now we all knew this, this is absolutely nothing new. However, it's been months since this information came out and there still hasn't been any kind of delays or cancellations regarding this game and development. In fact, there's only been progression. Unfortunately, this game will have absolutely nothing to do with Titanfall or even Apex Legends and is also being led by a small team over at Respawn with Steve Fukuda involved in the project as well. Now the thing is, they are already doing playtests for this new Titanfall game and people were even going on Reddit to showcase the fact that EA had personally reached out to them with an invitation to playtest this game as well. Now of course in the invite it doesn't say anything regarding what the game could be but the only other shooter that we know that EA and Respawn is currently working on is this new Titanfall universe based game. The other one, which is supposed to be the Mandalorian quote movement shooter got cancelled. And now as I'm sure that most of you guys should remember, Respawn released a trailer about a month ago recapping new players about the lore of Apex Legends as well as the war that took place that led them to even having Apex being a thing in the first place. Now typically this would get posted up on Apex Legends YouTube channel where quite literally every single lore trailer goes up on but funnily enough this specific trailer didn't. Instead, it got posted up discreetly on Respawn's YouTube channel, hinting at the fact that, yeah, something to follow up with this sentiment is coming. Another thing to take note of is that it was actually confirmed that even more playtests are happening on the 4th of September, which were well past already, and the player feedback is very positive. Now of course, all these playtesters are under extremely strict NDA contract, so if anything gets leaked, these people could be facing some serious legal consequences, hence why it is so extremely difficult to actually find anything on this game as of yet. Now, Andrew Wilson did say in an interview that he does want to expand beyond the Battle Royale universe. And I, I know you've heard every other YouTuber sing the same song over and over again. And yes, we have seen this being slowly implemented into Apex. We've had so many different and unique game modes come and go, like Knockout, Three Strikes, Revival, and even the fully kitted weapon system in the game, which kind of contradicts and goes against the entire basics of Battle Royale. But surely it doesn't just stop there. You see, one of the best ways to quote expand beyond the Battle Royale universe is to basically pull a Call of Duty move. Now hold on, let me explain what I mean here. With the release of Alter, we all know what her lore is. She's basically an interdimensional traveler. Alter isn't from this dimension. In fact, she dimension hops. And right now, we actually have a teaser on King's Canyon where we can actually see an anomaly that looks like it was likely caused by Alter. It looks very eerily similar to the characteristics of her own abilities. And the very fact that we have a game in development that is set in the Titanfall universe but has absolutely nothing to do with Titanfall's lore or even Apex Legends as a whole definitely leads me to believe 
that at some point down the line, Respawn is going to have to pull a Marvel move. What better way to quote, expand the Battle Royale universe by adding game modes into Apex and using them for testing and analytical data research to see what works and what doesn't, making a new Titanfall game as well as adding a character with interdimensional abilities. Basically, we could definitely see a time in the game where universes combine, very similar to what Marvel did with the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Super original, I know. But we know that Respawn isn't going to be making a Titanfall 3 game anytime soon or at all, let alone make a campaign that follows up on Titanfall's story, because it simply just isn't going to be profitable for them to do so. Now I know we all personally disagree with that 1000%, but that's the exact reason why Titanfall Legends was even cancelled to begin with. An entirely new campaign that's set within Titanfall's universe gives a lot more room for the developers to work with. After all, we all know that EA doesn't make games for the players, they make games for the shareholders. So looking through the eyes of EA, this could be very profitable to make the shareholder Daddy Blackrock very, very happy. This also opens up the door for what we talked about earlier for Apex Legends to pull a Call of Duty move, where we have a dedicated campaign multiplayer and battle royale with rotating game modes all packed into one delicious billion dollar buffet. Now granted, Apex Legends 2 like this isn't just something we want unless it directly correlates to the storyline, characters and lore of Titanfall. But remember, it's not about what we want, it never will be and it never was, it's always about what will print the most cash. This is also a really good way to get new players involved, especially lore-wise, since right now, Apex's lore is completely all over the place with the amount of unfinished storylines from the insane amount of legends we have. Because nobody knows what the heck happened to Vantage's mother, nobody knows what the heck is going on with Mirage, nobody knows what is going on with Gibby either? A brand new story that intertwines with that of Apex and Titanfall where the newer and more casual player can enjoy seems like the likely route that EA is going down. But Novel, they won't even switch over to a new engine. Why would they invest into all of this nonsense first? <clears throat> well, my good sir, the thing is, the current Source engine is older than me, and it's also a modified version of Source 2, which explains the extreme hacker pandemic that we're currently experiencing right now. The current engine is drastically holding the Respawn team back from innovating the same way their competitors do. But even though they know this, Respawn themselves have openly said that they have zero plans to actually switch over to a new engine because it would pull critical resources from the live game. They said they're constantly upgrading and evolving the new engine and the game will too, but just not in the way that we expect. The game engine is the exact reason why we have such bad cheating issues, terrible audio, hit reg issues, as well as overall server instability. I mean, the game runs on 20 tick servers and Counter-Strike runs on 128 tick rate servers. There's a, <laughs> there's a massive difference. For us to get the full experience of an Apex Legends 2, a new Titanfall based game, or anything of that magnitude, EA seriously needs to lock in and take a look at upgrading the engine. We just recently saw Valorant of all games upgrading to Unreal Engine 5, and honestly, I'm kinda jelly. That's right, we have squeezed literally every ounce of everything we could get out of UE4. So now we make the move to UE5, and that is not an easy feat when your game is a live service game, but it is necessary for sure. The future of Apex Legends, as well as Titanfall, is looking so fruitful, so abundant. But with EA at the control panel having a hand in every single decision that happens, well... It's not looking good, babe. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for once again showing up to my very, very annoying rant. Please feel free to check out some of the other content that I have for you on screen right now. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.